Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Gina's Beauty Room. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of makeup. Let me just kind of, yeah. Look at all this makeup that I bought all or accumulated. It's Of course it's not all at once, you guys. I, I do film YouTube videos. I love to film YouTube videos and I love to try new makeup products for you guys, for myself and for you guys. Um, so I did accumulate all this Amazon makeup. So all these products I'll link down below the ones that I do try today because all this is going to be, be throughout like several videos of trying Amazon, um, makeup products. So yeah. Um, so I wanted, I want to start like a little series on Amazon makeup. You know what I mean? But so yeah, you guys, there are tons of products in here from powders, foundations, uh, makeup applications. Uh, there's a lot primers, blushes, eyeshadow palettes. So we're going to test out all the Amazon finds. So let's just go ahead and get started. But let me give a mention to these products as well. So these you can pick up on Amazon. So I did, uh, put this SPF sun milk soft finish from misha this um moisturizer well it, it's a sunblock yeah all around safe block so soft finish sun milk so it's really really nice you guys and let me just kind of show it to you too so it's kind of it is kind of like a milky you can see that see how it kind of like falls so the consistency is really nice it a little bit goes a long way but it's very, very nice on the skin. It's just, I, I got m my friend onto this too. So she is using this as well. So another thing that I always use um, is this Master Prime from Maybelline Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. I love this. I do have it on right now. This really helps my tearing up. And then I do have this. I believe you can find this on Amazon as well. SPF 15 sunscreen, the Carmex daily care cupcake batter. Um, very, very nice. I recommend this highly recommend this. It's so nice on the lips. Okay. So I did want to mention that. Okay. So let's start. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. Okay. So I am back. You guys, I went to go and grab this from Kashima. Flauncher Large Flat Top Kabuki Brush. So you can find this on Amazon, you guys. They are uh, like flat $10. Sometimes you can get a $2 off coupon, maybe a um, dollar. But I will link this down below. This is fabulous. If you want a very good flat top kabuki blending foundation blending brush, this is the way to go. And it reminds me of a Sigma brush. So it is very dense. However, it's so soft. So this is how it looks. We'll link all these products down below. Okay, so I'm gonna use that. And then I do have a couple more. These two are from BK or Beaky. I don't know, Beaky's weird, so maybe BK. <laughs> soft and bouncy, latex-free, cruelty-free, free, free, and 100% vegan. So this is a two-piece and these are for 9.99 for the set that's how much i bought it for but right now i think it's like for a dollar off i think and then here's also from the same brand so these are more like flat so look how different that is yeah look at that isn't that so unique and they have like even other shapes too like a teardrop shape that's flat as well and then you guys this intrigued me for all these sponges it's from this brand you know that marshall's and tj maxx carry this brand so i wanted to try it out for myself these are very soft so like i don't know what to use this one is kind of like different you know should i use the more different one I'm gonna wet these two and that way I can show you, I guess, both. And we're gonna hold off on this, but I do wanna show it to you. I know that these are gonna be so nice. Okay, so let me go and wet it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am back. Look at that. Oh, so, so, I'm all whispering. <laughs> 
look at that you guys it is so i say you guys a lot right um it's so squishy and bouncy oh i'm excited okay okay so let's go ahead and go into day so these are primers soft light and watery glow primer from hexi brand um so i did open this one so this is the one that i want to try so this one is uh they're like blurring soft light and watery glow primer and they do uh the claims are it is like blurring and then i did find some powders so and this is all from the same brand you guys and right now as i'm talking a couple of these products are on sale i think i got them for like 30 percent off so this is the flawless mineral cushion bb cream so there's that one and then i did pick up the light mist loose powder yeah let's go ahead and try this one so this one is also a k beauty brand uh Sanive, it's it it came like this so that, that's kind of weird the highlighter let's go with um translucent transparent highlight so this is from that same brand let me also take this one out because this one may be a little subtle and then this one is gonna be more let's see what this one is together oh yes oh my gosh look how beautiful this palette is do we want to try this one? Into? We'll try this one instead of the Etude House. So this is what we're going with, with the eyeshadow look. Look how beautiful. It reminds me of like the ColourPop. So we'll try that. So we're going to save the rest for another Amazon video. You guys, there's still a lot in here. So this is what we'll save for another video. So stay tuned for that one. Okay. <clears throat> Are we ready to roll? Yes. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go ahead and open this one. So look how cute that looks. See that? Look how cute. Isn't that nice. Look, let's go ahead and swatch a couple. That one, wow. That one and the light one. Look at the pigmentation. Wow. Oh, look at that highlight shade oh wow and then there's a bronzer in here like what I can use as a bronzer wow that's gorgeous okay so let's just get right into it so we're gonna go ahead and dig into this hexy soft light and watery glow primer <laughs> just kidding okay so let's just kind of see how it should I shake it just in case Hold on. oh wow so it definitely has a glow to it I don't want to put too much okay so it does have like a milky consistency to it If my face gets a little red, that's what it does. I do like to bring the primer right here for my little eye, my fine lines on my eye. And then I like to push it at my temples. Actually, I do need a little bit more for the forehead. And so, yeah, so I'm kind of like pushing it in as I spread it. I tend to do that with all my foundations. That one's good. That that seems pretty cool. And it, it did set already. So it, it's not, it set like very naturally. Um, I didn't feel like it was like pore blurring, you know, like I just felt like it was a I don't know. It's just nice. It's like a milky kind of primer, but we'll see. So it's supposed to have like a little, like a soft light glow to it. 
Okay, look how beautiful this packaging is. It's kind of like an ombre. It's kind of like a pinky peach to a lilac color. Look how beautiful that is in the pack. Yeah, it's just nice. It's kind of bulky, but it's very beautiful to look at. So it does come with a little puff. We're not going to use that. And then there you go. Please be my shade. So this one's in the shade. It says it's a thin consistency. I may not like that. Ew, and it does seem a little light. Oh, look at that. So you have your foundation and it does have a another area on the back. Look at this for your concealer. Is that right? Oh my, I've never seen that. So this even looks like a little bit of a darker shade than this. Let's try it out. So I'm going to go in with this Kashima Foundation Flat Top. And this is the large one. They do have a smaller one as well. So let's go ahead and push that. I want to use both because this is too light. I already know that. So I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, it is light. Ugh. Very thin. Maybe we can help this with the bronzer. It's very thin in consistency, so it's not going to be real thick. It has some pretty good coverage for being a B. Is this a BB cream? I thought it said a BB cream. Yeah, so yeah, it says it's a BB cream mineral two in one. Wow, that's cool. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Cause I can do this all night. So we'll go in with this um, beauty sponge from BK or BK. <laughs> I think it's BK. I don't know. So very nice and squishy. This is different. I am really, really loving this. I am really enjoying it, you guys. Very, very nice. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the first layer of that foundation, the BB cream foundation. It is um, kind of sheer, but it does provide a good amount of like uh, of coverage for being like a BB cream. And I do recommend blending it with the concealer because it has a little bit more coverage added to that. And I think it's really nice. It evened out my skin tone. But I do want to go in with another layer. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this one, it didn't really add any more coverage. It does kind of sheer out, but then again, it's a BB cream. You know what I mean? So, um, but I do like the way that it just evened out my skin tone. It did provide some coverage, but it does, you can still see my freckles showing through it. It is um, sheer. It does have like a nice luminous kind of effect to the finish, you know? So, and I, I am loving this sponge. Okay, so now we're gonna go into 
this Believe Beauty Under Eye <clears throat> um, Brightening Pink Shade Under Eye. I'm going to hold my finger there. Make it more creamy. You can see it provides that pink kind of tone. You cannot find this on Amazon though. This is just a product that I'm using for my stash. Okay, then we're gonna go in concealer. So I did uh, take this Fair 15 Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. Is this Maybelline? Yeah. And then this is the number seven Lift and Illuminate Serum Concealer. Um, this you can find at Target, I think on Amazon too. Okay, so I will say that when I did apply the concealer, <clears throat> this stuff, this uh, BB cream did kind of pick up or kind of lifted. So it is lifting. You can't press too hard if you still want the product on your face. So, so that I did notice about it. Yeah, so it did lift up some of the product of that BB cream. But the finish, I really, really like the finish of it. Okay, so next we're going to go into, let's see. Well, this is how it looks, you guys. So, Okay, so the powder we're going to use is this one. It's from that... Hexi Loose Powder. Oh, wow. This is very, like, thin. Let's see. So I am going to use... These are like little triangle, little cushions. You can get that pack for very inexpensive. I think I paid $8.99. So I'm going to use this. Let me get my makeup brushes. Get this sponge. Take it Give you what you need. If you stay so I'm going to cover this up a little bit more with my full coverage concealer. So I'm going to use this um, Marc Jacobs concealer just to cover up that freckle before I set. Switch it up, you guys. Hold on. So I'm going to use this Laura Geller. Okay, so this is a very thin consistency to this powder. So it kind of almost feels like you're not wearing anything. So, which is nice. I mean, it does feel nice. Normally, like my Cody Airspun is a, like a lot thicker, you know. Um, so I'm not used to 
uh, coverage like this. It does provide a matte finish and it's kind of like a blurring, um, a blurring effect. I don't know if you can see. So I like this a lot actually. So I'm going to apply my bronzer off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So for my bronzer, I did go in with this Clinique. This is the Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation and Concealer. So this one's in the shade 14 Vanilla. And then I did go in with to chisel my cheekbones out a little bit more from the Dollar Tree, the LA Colors Contour in the shade 10. So I did use that with this little Eda brush to chisel out. But I always love to go in with my Cody Airspun to bake underneath that line right there. So let's use this sponge that we got. And I do like the fact that it has that flat edge. So we can see how that, oh, got some on my earring, how that works. Well, makes that line really, really nice. Hmm. Very nice. I like that. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing to this side. Wow, it picks up that product real good with the sponge, you guys. And I like how it can form the jawline too with your powder. You know what I mean? See that? Oh, wow. And then we'll add a little bit to use this sponge right there. Wow, I'm liking that. And then pick up a little bit more for my nose. Oops. Let's just go ahead and put some to set my, on the round part, I dipped it in the Cody Airspun just to kind of add more coverage to my eyelids to prep for the eyeshadow. Mm, so this is kind of like a multi-purpose, you guys. Sponge. Hmm. I look funny, I know. So I'll put my Cody Airspun away. So then we're going to dust everything off. I really like how it did that, that chisel there. So we'll dust everything off. So then next we're going to go on to blush. So this is from Sunnie. Such pretty packaging. So this one doesn't have like a shade, a palette shade name or anything. It does say 002 though. So maybe that's it. So these are pretty pigmented. So you got to make sure you do not press hard on the, uh, the shades. Pick up this one. This set you can find on Amazon too. Um, so we'll go into these two. I do want to mix these two up together. Oh, very pigmented. Be careful. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, that is very nice. Then we'll get the just the brighter shade just to top off. That is really, really nice. You see, and that BB cream, you guys, you can see even with that powder, you can see all my freckles peeking through. So it definitely is not full coverage. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to move on to highlight. So these two highlights I did pick up. So we're gonna go in with this one. I read the reviews, it's more like a subtle highlight. So this is from the Hexi brand. This one is in the shade Transparent. Let's see. So yeah, it is more subtle, but look how beautiful. That is very beautiful. So we'll get
Oh, that is very nice. You see that? Just kind of go in circular motions just to place that exactly where I want it. It is like a translucent kind of highlight. So it provides like a soft glow, like a natural glow almost. Okay, let's go ahead and go with the more shinier one just to give it more of a pop. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my God, it's so thin in consistency too. So we'll use the same one. Oh my gosh, yep. Now this one beats that other one for the purpose of wanting more of a, like of a blinding highlight. But it's so like, oh, wow, it's so thin. Let me try my finger right here. Wow, look at that you guys, oh my. This is gorgeous, wow, in the inner corners. Wow, this one's beautiful. You shade 03 Sun Glow by Elsie, that brand. Love that one. And the other one was really nice too, but it's more transparent, kind of sheer highlighter. So again, we're gonna blend everything together. Okay, so, so now this is the part where I put my setting spray. Physicians formula, the essence of healthy. I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so now, now we are going on to this eyeshadow palette. So this is by, uh, this is the shade Sweet Mint 03. Um, I, is that the? brand. Love the packaging. So hopefully this one works out well. Okay, so I do have my makeup brushes. Okay, so we're going to go in. Oh, you know, it doesn't have a shade like this. So I'm going to use this one to set all over my lid. Okay, so now we'll go into the lightest, you know what, let's get a, okay, so we'll go into this lightest shade. It doesn't have any shade names. Okay, this is nice and blendable so far. So with the same brush, we're going to go into the darker shade. Just to kind of start some depth to the eyelid or the crease. Okay, we're going to go same brush, the bottom lash line. Mix those two. So more precise brush, a little bit deeper shade. Ooh, maybe I should have gone in with this one. No, that's fine. So now I'm gonna start my little, my V. Blend 
blending out really nice. Same brush, bottom lash line. Okay, I'm cleaning this brush because I want to use this for to do a little bit more of a darker shade now actually i should have gone with this smaller one actually yes let's go in with this one but i'm going to clean it okay so now we're grabbing this mua professional brush it's like a little little domed brush and then we'll go in with the deepest shade Okay, this one's not very very pigmented that's the only thing about this palette is the only thing about this palette is it doesn't have a dark shade like a black down to the bottom lash line, the outer half. Just a, another brush just to blend everything together. So now with our finger, I'm going to go ahead and use my ring finger. I'm going to pick up this shade right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm loving that. It kind of looks like a glass-like finish. Wow. Okay, so then we'll go in with just a, a brush just to blend in all that color together. Wow, I love that. That's so pretty. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, so now since it doesn't have a black, we're gonna go in with a different palette to get a black shade. Okay, so I'm digging into this color pop. So we're going to go in with an eyeliner, angled eyeliner brush. Shade. Just to line the lash line. So now we're going to go in with this e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner. This is in the shade Navy. I couldn't find my black one. So we'll go right underneath. And then at the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with this Moda brush, angled liner brush, and kind of smudge it out. Then we're going to go in with mascara. This is the MAC 3D Black Mascara. It's this one. That, that doesn't say what mascara it is, but we'll go in with this. Now 
the bottom lashes. And then for uh, lip liner, I'm going to go in with this Bare Minerals Gen Nude on point. And then for the lipstick, I'm going to go in with this Lifter Gloss in the shade 003 Moon. So yes, you guys, I'm really loving how everything turned out. Um, so if you're looking for a full coverage like foundation, BB cream, this is not going to be it. However, where's it at? Okay. However, the finish is like so lightweight. Um, and I did find that you have to mix it for me anyways. Like I like a more full coverage. I had to mix it with the concealer side. You know what I mean? The concealer and the, the BB cream. So, but overall it is very lightweight. It does provide a, um, nice tone, you know, it evens out all the skin tone. It does allow my freckles to show through as you can see. And then the powder, this is so lightweight too, you guys, these are lightweight products. Like you don't even, I don't even feel I have any, uh, face foundation creams, uh, powder on at all. Like the Cody Airspun, you can kind of feel that powdery thickness to the skin, but this one did not um, does not feel like that. So I do like this as well. I want to try it more considering for the prices I got them for. Oh my gosh. Very, very nice. Um, so out of these two highlight products, you guys, these are so nice, both of these and together it provided this nice glow. So this is more of a, uh, transparent kind of sheer glow while this one is more of a blinding glow um so this one i prefer more than this however it is really nice this one as well for the blush i did enjoy this you guys this is nice it's cute it's fun you have a lot of tones of blushes even this highlighter you guys i didn't even try it but it is very very like nice and it's more of a for it'll be more of for medium to darker skin tones. So I don't think it'll work on mine. However, I could use it uh, as an inner corner highlight shadow, you know? So what else we got? Okay. So this one also, you guys, all their products are lightweight, kind of sheer. Um, so it's not a full, full coverage line. You know what I mean? So, but it is very nice for natural days and like I said, it does provide an even skin tone. So it does have that on its pro side, you know. Um, as far as cons, I don't see any cons. Um, of course, if you are looking for full coverage, that would be the con. So this is not, but it doesn't claim to be like full coverage, you know. Uh, what else? What else do we have here? I do recommend this sunblock from Misha. You can find on Amazon. I've always been loving this what else what else these products you guys this sponge is so different if you want to try new sponges you guys from that bk brand i would recommend they're very soft they do go real i prefer this one because it for the baking purposes it helped me you know bake on my jawline to be more like precise um but yeah, you can use that round side for your foundation too. You know what I mean? So it's like a multi-purpose sponge. I do really recommend that. Um, I also really recommend this brush, this foundation flat top kabuki from Kashima. Very, very nice. I do own the smaller one too. So this is the large flat top kabuki and then I have the smaller one. What else? What else? These sponges are really nice. Like I said, I have one already in my Cody Air. Ooh excuse me, my Cody air spun little powder box right there. Okay. And then this one, you guys, it's very nice. I think you would really like it again. This is the eye look I came out with. It's just kind of like a little glossy kind of glassy finish. And the, the colors do blend very easily. Um, so I do recommend this. They only have two shades in this. So, uh, the other one is more of like a smoky and that one I'm, I did order. Um, so that one's coming in on Monday. Um, but yeah, other than that, the only con about this, you guys, it doesn't have like a brow bone, you know, like a highlight, a brow bone, and then it doesn't have a black 
shadows. So I did have to go in with other uh, palettes for to make this complete look. So that's the only con, but other than that, for the price, you guys, it is so not bad. I think I've paid $8.99 for it. So very, very nice. I think that is all the products that I did try in today's video. Again, you guys, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you join my family. And don't forget to push that little bell so you'll be notified when I do upload more videos like this. And yeah, you guys, I still got a lot of products from Amazon that I still need to test out. So Stick with me. Look forward to that video coming up too. I don't know when I'll be able to film that, but it is going to be coming. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.